You like the gators? Man, we got them down in Florida. Welcome back, Gators. It had been several years since Florida had played in the SEC championship game. But after a six-year absence, first-year head coach Jim McElwain had Florida playing in the conference's biggest game. Yeah, don't forget this number seven. I know they didn't win it last year. Alabama did. But Florida has won seven SEC football championships. That's the most of any conference school since the SEC went to the championship format game back in 1992. And 11, including last year, number of appearances in the SEC championship game. Amazing. Yeah, I know Will Muschamp's not there anymore. He's a South Carolina. But he left a lot of defensive talent behind for McElwain to play with, and boy, oh boy, they once again played solid. They should be good again this year, too, including the secondary. Vernon Hargreaves, the third, I know he's gone, but you have so much coming back. Uh, the form of uh, Jalen Tabor and Quincy Wilson. Corners should be solidified, and at safety, the veteran Marcus Mayo's back. Linebacker, uh, you got Jerry Davis, a group that really is going to be retooled a little bit, but Davis, he's a senior. He should have another fine year, and up front, Half of that talent coming back as far as starters, including Brian Cox Jr. The number doesn't lie. Nine quarterbacks have actually played in a Florida game this decade. That's only six seasons of football. Yeah, you got to go back to Tim Tebow when they've had a long, steady quarterback at that school. And that was back in the late 2000s. No question, Florida needs a consistent signal caller badly. After the 6-0 start for the Gators, Florida looked like a different team after that. Part of that, Will Greer, the quarterback, was suspended. So, Treon Harris got thrown right into the fire. The Gators were 4-4 four four after that. So, Harris, along with a couple of transfers, including Jack Del Rio's son, Luke, will battle for that QB position. Kelvin Taylor, he's moved along. So, you have Jordan Scarlett, who looks like will be the starting guy in the backfield. Receiver, a little more strength in that position, including Antonio Callaway, who had a terrific freshman year and ran back two punts for a score. You've got the left side of the offensive line and the center also back for the Gators. When I was 17, I drank some very good beer. Six pack of games to consume. The Gators don't play anybody worth a damn outside the conference until the end of the year when they go to Tallahassee to face FSU. Otherwise, there are some challenges on the SEC schedule, but no Bama or Ole Miss on it. Got to play at Tennessee in late September, natural rival LSU in October, and mid-November against South Carolina and former Florida head coach Will Muschamp. My projected win total, eight. Good enough on defense, but I still have my reservations about their offense, their quarterback in particular. That's my look at the Gators. Catch you later.